now vagina not entirely but it is serving uh, a similar function as penis okay not entirely remember that so vagina is the excitable erectile pleasurable organ of the female copulatory organ of the female just like penis in a lot of ways it is similar to penis and you'll get to know more about it in the next session as well let's study the structure of the vagina now i told you that cervix opens into the vagina yes cervix opens into the vagina now vagina is the receiving end for the sperm during copulation the male ejaculates into the vagina okay so the first seat the first receiving end for sperm and with the cervical canal it forms the birthing canal birth canal for the baby this you already have noted down so if it is involved uh, if it is serving the function of a birth canal it's quite um, clear that it has to be stretchable vagina is stretchable both during copulation also vagina stretches to accommodate the penis and it stretches so much during the birth of a baby another way female reproductive system is so special vagina is a tube it's a hollow tube because it's quite evident from the function during sexual intercourse it receives the penis and during childbirth the newborn is coming out of it so it has to be a hollow tube all right around 10 cm hollow tube it opens outside the body through vaginal orifice now vagina uh, is is receiving the uh, sperms through penis vagina is the birth canal vagina is also uh, giving out the menstrual flow menstrual blood also uh, comes out through the vaginal orifice is that clear now you must have heard about the hymen what is hymen and what are the wrong concepts around hymen let me make it clear clear to you today uh, so that you have the proper education about it now children vaginal orifice vaginal orifice has a very thin membranous covering called hymen very thin membranous covering called hymen what i just said is very wrong it is according to the textbook it is right but the message that it is giving you is entirely wrong why i'll show you how hymen is organized around the vaginal opening ready all right so focus on this word partially which is often ignored by anybody understanding the concept of hymen my teacher did not tell me this i am here for you to tell you what is hymen now when we say partially covered vaginal orifice is never vaginal opening is never uh, is seldom i i should not say never it can be in certain conditions completely covering the vaginal orifice but generally it is partially covering the vaginal orifice and an important fact for you that this is not the case this is how the uh, the hymen is around the vaginal orifice it's like a rubber band it's like your hair are tied by a rubber band so that is how the membrane sort of partially covers the orifice and not completely covering it tying it it is tying it it is surrounding it people imagine that this is the hymen covering the vaginal opening and there comes the concept of virginity in a female which is uh, in certain cultures it is a huge huge thing it's a big story in religions and cultures especially on the wedding night that um, when the virginity of the woman is checked i'm talking about middle ages i'm talking about very old times and well in certain societies certain cultures it's still followed so the story is somewhat um, um, related to the rupture of this membrane now 
hymen could be first confusion that needs to be cleared is why it is not a proof of virginity is hymen could be absent in a female it's not there since birth it's not there hymen could be outrightly absent could be okay so you can't say that this woman is not a virgin she has had a sexual intercourse before her marriage second hymen could easily break could easily break if you are an athlete riding a you are a cyclist you are riding bicycles every day the pressure that the seat puts you are a horse rider definitely or um, you are a uh, i remember a case you are a you are a martial arts um, learner so it is such a thin membrane that it can easily be injured and broken the myth that runs around is uh, that bleeding on wedding night is a proof of virginity that the male has broken the hymen it does happen in certain females and in certain females in fact the first episode of sexual intercourse with a man the hymen even doesn't break completely or there are so many uh, cases but the cultures which believe that hymen is a uh, speaks about virginity is absolutely wrong bleeding might not happen okay so it is not a proof of virginity yes uh, if bleeding happens you know in certain cultures they specially put white sheets on the wedding night and it is considered as a it's a ritual that that the white sheet should have blood and the bride is pure and the husband is the first sexual partner and lot of stories but as a medical student as a doctor you know it is absolutely wrong